So we have A equals LW for L. We have to solve that for L, which means we have to get the L all by itself. Now, um, just for fun, I'm going to give you, uh, let's see, just for fun, I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you a different one to solve first. So I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you uh, 20 equals L times um, 2. I want you to write that down. I want you to solve that for L. 20 equals L times 2. Go ahead and solve that for L. So L is being multiplied by 2 here, so to get it on its own, we divide by 2, two yeah, and divide this side by 2, right? Correct. Which makes 10. But I'm, for fun, I'm just going to write this. 20 over 2 equals L, which is 10, of course, right? Correct. Okay with that? Yes. But L is definitely 20 over 2, right? So when we have numbers, it makes sense, doesn't it? It's a lot easier. Right. And it does make sense for everybody. It makes a lot more sense for me as well. When I see, I look, I prefer looking at this than this. I totally agree. So that, that is definitely a universal thing. And so here we have L times W. L is being multiplied by W. Instead of being multiplied by 2, it's been multiplied by W. So to get on its own, you just divide by W. And if you divide this side by W, you must divide this by W also. So just like how we divided everything by 2, we're just going to divide everything by W. And over here, the 2's cross-canceled, right? Correct. And over here, the, the W's cross-cancel. They give 1's. So you have L times 1 over 1 or just L. So we have A over W equals L. Okay with that? Okay. Cool.